Hi there, this is Derivative 7, and what I'm going to be talking about in this video is the chain rule. And, uh, well, essentially, let's set up a situation. What if uh, we have y equals f of g of x? So, basically, what if we have a function of another function? And, once again, you may think, uh, well, you know, we could just do it the same way we were doing it before, and, and f prime of g of x, and that's our answer. And, and this, this technique would be false. Because we're forgetting all about this inner term right here, which is also dependent on x. So, uh, I told you the name of the technique already. It's called the chain rule. And the chain rule, I can't remember who it was invented by or anyone. It was a long time ago, though. So, we'll just uh, give the credit to the gurus of mathematics way back in the 17th century. But y equals, uh, you have a function of g of x. And what that goes to is that's y prime. You had the first part right. You had the first part right. But we also need to do the derivative of g of x, which all you do is you multiply it by the derivative of what was inside the parentheses. That's it. That's simple. The derivative of what was inside, multiply the whole function by it. Now remember, it's only of that multiplier when you have added numbers, you don't do it to the whole function, the whole additive function, just that singular uh, variable. So you just need to remember that. And it's not, it's not too bad, so, I mean, let me just walk you through maybe a, a quick example, so, um, so you can see. Uh, let's do a trick function, just to that was in our last lesson, so hopefully that's still fresh in your mind. y equals sine of 2x. Notice what you were thinking was y prime would equal cosine of 2x. I don't know if you're actually thinking that, but this is a false. Uh, the, using the chain rule, Let's put using up here. Using the chain rule, we would get y prime is equal to, you had the first part right, cosine of 2x, multiplied by the derivative of 2x, which is just 2. So that will equal 2 cosine 2x. Not too terrible. Pretty simple, actually, right? And that's all you do. So, if you're going to um, try and break it down in any other way, uh, I, I would suggest just remembering the chain rule because this will actually consist of where I would say about 40 to 50 percent of you will make your errors in this, uh, will make your errors in calculus due to the chain rule of calculus errors they're due to the chain rule and that's important to remember because by knowing that a majority of your issues will come in the chain rule, it, it might focus you on learning this material really well. And if you go to the next video, you'll see a, a quick clip uh, and a list of examples of how we do uh, 
everything from trig functions to the ones that we were using beforehand. So I'll see you in the next video.